Let's bring in Harlem resident and executive director of Silent Voices United, Tiffany Fulton, and criminal defense attorney Vic Bajaj. Welcome to you both. Thank you both. Um, I, a one in four kids, Tiffany, welcome to the program. One in four New York City kids living in poverty, and yet they're spending tens of millions on prepaid debit cards to the illegal immigrants. What do you think about this whole setup? I have a problem with that because we have people that live right here in our country, uh, people with families and children, and they, they need that help. So for them to be giving it to uh, illegal migrants or migrants that's coming into the country and giving out this free money, what about the people that live here in the United States of America? Yeah, it's a very good question. Vic Bajaj to you now because I want to play this video. A migrant who is accused, this is body cam video, by the way, a migrant is accused of killing a Florida deputy. He's now suing the deputy's estate, claiming he had a disability or not knowing English. That was the disability here. I mean, have you, have you heard of a case like this, Vic? Is there a case like this? Or are the lawyers just using these people to try to, to get a leg up on the justice system? Well, let me tell you how unbiased I'm going to be here. I'm a defense attorney, so usually I'm fighting the government against some fruitful or fruitless charges against my clients. This is throwing everything against the wall. Now, you don't have to be a citizen to have constitutional protections. Right. But you still have to have a righteous claim. Now, this individual, interestingly enough, Trace, was just declared incompetent by the criminal court. So the criminal case is on hold regarding the manslaughter against that officer who actually died from a cardiac arrest during this incident. Yeah. That's on hold. But the civil case is going perhaps short-sighted by the lawyers because his client or their client will have to be deposed to prove that case. Yeah. So it will come out of the bag eventually. It really is kind of amazing. Now, Tiffany, there are pictures. We, we got some pictures, and I know you toured this luxury building that is about to become a migrant shelter. And I want to put these pictures up because this is what's about to be in the Harlem area, a migrant shelter. But more concerning, I want to play some sound of an angry Harlem resident. Watch this and we'll get your response. We got enough shelters. We're oversaturated. And in every borough that doesn't have the same amount of shelters as we have, in every zip code, they have to come up and meet us first. Definitely, definitely. Before they even start moving. I mean, all they're saying, Tiffany, is it's not fair. It's totally not fair. It's totally not fair. I was one of the few uh, Harlem residents that went on that tour, and it's a beautiful location. And we have um, a housing project right across the street, St. Nicholas Houses, where they're getting ready to be relocated or displaced because they're going under renovation. So I did ask the mayor, and I asked all the other city officials there, mm -hmm. instead of displacing the senior citizens or the people that are disabled, if we're going to make this a migrant, or we're going to make this a shelter, period, why not yeah. make it for the people across the street in that housing project of over 3,000 people with people with disabilities and senior citizens? Why not move them in there? Why not? It's a very good question. Uh, finally, Vic Bajaj to you. FoxNews.com says the following, quoting here, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is suing a Catholic non-governmental organization, a Catholic charity in other words, alleging that it is encouraging illegal immigration and operating a stash house for those entering illegally. Can you sue a Catholic charity for something like that, Vic? Absolutely. A Catholic charity may not have to pay taxes, but they have to abide by the law. And if you're aiding and abetting illegal immigration, which is a serious crime in the state of Texas, where it's being enforced, not like the federal side, well, then that's still a crime.